Good morning, good morning. It is August 14th, 2019, and we have some interesting news. So let's get right to it. Here we are for another water test. This time we have a legit API master test kit. As you can see, there's the nitrate. Here's all the, whoops, here's all the test tubes, the other solutions, and here's the answer to why did we have a big card versus little, uh, a handful of little cards. Apparently when you buy the smaller kits or the individual, sorry about that, the individual bottles, you get the little small cards. If you order the, <clears throat> excuse me, if you order the master kit that's configured like this, with a blue, let me get this out of here, a blue top with this uh, handle protruding through, you're going to get this MasterCard. I cut a lot of this out. I'm showing you that the card is actually the back of the brochure and it's very thin, so I put something behind it so it would be a little more stable. There was a lot of talking off camera because I couldn't get everything in frame with this small table and trying to get as close as possible. So here we're going to test the tap water first. Okay, here's our card. Can I get you guys any closer? I think I can without zooming. And let me make an adjustment here because I can't stand this card up the way I want it to. So it's going to take both hands. All right, so we've got our tests right next to this card. And this first one was our pH test. Let's see how we did in comparison to what the test strips said. Um, I'm trying to tip this so you guys can get the same kind of view I am and it's not working for every, here we go. There we go. Okay, so the test strip reads between 7.8 pH and 8, not the 8.4 that the other test kit led us to believe. So that's good news. Uh, now our next one is ammonia, um, and our ammonia parts per million look to be uh, to me, 50 parts per million, uh, between 25 and 50. I'm not going to call it 30. Let's see if we can get it better. No, that's not going to help. Um, it's good to read these in good light, although direct light always isn't, isn't always that good. Yeah, I'm going to call it 50 parts per million, um, just to be conservative. Our next one is nitrites, and that's zero parts per million. That's pretty easy to see. And then our last one is our nitrates, and this is very surprising to me. This is zero parts per million, and, and my hand is in the way. I'm sorry about that. Let me try and do this. Uh, zero parts per million. I'm really surprised. That is not what other, our other tests showed us. And um, I will take a still out of this clip and we'll look at it again. Now we're ready to test the tank water and I'm going to tell you that I'm going to test it or I'm going to scoop the water and then I'm going to go put it in the window and we'll complete the tests in the window. So to to uh, do this test, I put my, where's my thumb? I put my thumb over the top of the tube and hold the tube with my fingers. And then I go, can you, you can't, well, you can see by the water in my hand. I go at least mid column and I let it fill. I don't worry about hitting that mark line, but then I'll tap it out a few drops if I'm not using a pipette. So there's our pH test. All right, let me stop this and then I'll move you to the window. So I recorded the whole thing for you, went through all the steps, but you know what, you can read them in the brochure 
if you get a master test kit. So let's go back to the uh, clip. Now the, the nitrate solution, this, this last solution that we mixed up, uh, it takes a little while to develop. It takes, you know, like the other ones, they develop within a minute to a minute 45 at the most. Pay attention to how long you're supposed to shake it or agitate it or just turn it upside down or what have you. Pay attention to that stuff because there's a reason for it. And, you know, the most obvious reason is to incorporate as well as possible the chemicals into the water. So, let me give you a little shot here. There's our results. And since that nitrate is going to take a couple minutes to develop, uh, we're going to line up our pH. Uh, let's see if I... Let me do this. I'll, I'll just be the first one to tell you if nobody ever has. These cards are hard to read. you got to get to the closest you can. pH is virtually unchanged. So, all right, good deal. Now, ammonia. Ammonia is one part per million. And I, I suspect, since it should be zero... I suspect that uh, these Malaysian trumpet snails are going to have a problem and I'm going to have to troubleshoot what to do about it. Um, okay, but nitrite, zero parts per million. And I think it's still too early to tell, really. But just so we can move on, it looks like nitrates are zero parts per million. If that's not true, in another two or three minutes, I will I will include the fact that it's not true. Uh, there are the test results, and, and the shadow darkens. You know, the shadow from what the test tubes are leaning up against is darkening uh, the results a little bit, not much. So I'm going to call, I'm actually going to call ammonia between one and two parts per million. Well, no, it's, it's between a half and one part per million. Um, so now let's sit down and chat about this. We've got our uh, tank log and our trusty, dusty test results from the other day and from the test tubes with the liquid um, chemicals to give us our readings. And what did we find out? Well, the first thing that jumps out at me is that hard uh, hardness, and it gave us a massively alkaline reading when it's not. It's, it's high normal. As far as I'm concerned, the ammonia reading was very, uh, very off in the strip test as well as the nitrites was not correct either. So if we put up our chart here, we can see that we are way off. And from what I can see, this tank is still technically in mid-cycle. So what can we do about this to get it to the point where it's balanced? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is increase the photo period and I'm going to add a little desk lamp and see how that affects both the plant life and the water parameters. What I expect to happen is probably some new growth in the plants and a little bit of algae bloom, and we'll deal with that if it happens. That's all we have for you today, that uh, little update with fresh API master test kit chemicals and some surprising results. For me and the shepherd and the Malaysian trumpet snails, thank you so much for joining us. Please, if you would be so kind, if you are interested in freshwater tanks, uh, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And we'll see you real soon.